Hey guys, it's General Heat here. How's everyone doing today? So for today's video, we're going to be doing our next comparison video, and that is we are going to be taking a look at which Halo game has the strongest Marines. So the Marines in Halo, they've always been our trusty allies. They've always been there for us, and they've been in, they've been there for pretty much every Halo game. You could pretty much always count on them to drive you off a cliff in a Warthog. <laughs> um, but no, anyways. Yeah, so the Marines have been around for a while, they've been in every Halo game, although their appearances have been a little more limited in Halo 5. But that doesn't matter anyways, because for this comparison, as I always say in pretty much every video, we can't compare Halo 5, because there are no mod tools that exist that lets us get the, uh, the stats for the Marines, or pretty much anything, from the game files in Halo 5. So with those numbers, we cannot objectively compare um, Halo 5's Marines with all the other Halo games. So for this game, for this video, we can only compare Halos 1 through 4. And um, yeah, so let's get right into it, starting with Halo 1, the first iteration of the Marines. So like I said, we'll be using um, the actual stats for the Marines from each Halo game, thanks to mod tools so that we can make an objective comparison, not an observation-based comparison. So everything will be perfectly factual, not just what it appears to be. But anyways, Halo 1's Marines, they have a health of 50 points. Their health does not recharge like pretty much everything else in Halo 1. However, they do have armor on top of their health, which is actually listed as a uh, type of shields in the game files, but counts as armor. So 50 points of armor, and the armor does actually recharge over time. Um, one second to recharge, but eight seconds before it starts recharging. Uh, and Halo 1 Marines don't do any melee damage. So that is a... Uh, Halo 1's Marines for you guys, that's a pretty interesting baseline. Now, the next game to obviously feature Marines is Halo 2. And they've changed quite a bit from Halo 1. Not just like their stats or, and stuff, but also like appearance-wise, they are quite different um, than Halo 1's Marines. And now, one of the Halo 1 Marines that always died like pretty much every mission, Sergeant Johnson, is now actually a main character in this game and no longer dies every single mission. <laughs> but yeah, so let's actually take a look at what Halo, 1's, Halo 2's Marines are like compared to Halo 1. So they now have a health of 100, which is double the health of Halo 1. However, their health also recharges this time too. Two seconds to fully recharge, but four seconds before it starts recharging. They don't have any armor or shields like they do in Halo 1, and therefore their, shields, their armor can't recharge. Uh, but it's pretty much equal because in Halo 1 they have 50 health and 50 armor, so it adds up to 100 anyways. And Halo 2's Marines actually do 35 points of melee damage, so not bad. Halo 1's Marines came in melee, uh, gameplay-wise. So, that's already an edge over um, Halo 1's Marines, simply based on the melee. But health and armor, technically they're the same so far. Now, next game is Halo 3. Halo 3's Marines are, visually, they're, they're more detailed than Halo 2's Marines, visually speaking. But overall, they're still pretty uh, similar, appearance-wise, compared to Halo 2's. As for their stats, well, they have health of 100 points. Their health recharges in 2 seconds with a 4 second delay. They also have no armor and no armor recharge time. And they also do 35 points of melee damage. Does that look or sound familiar to you? Well, that is because it is exactly identical to Halo 2's Marines. Every single stat here is the same as Halo 2's Marines. So, yeah, Halo 3's Marines have not changed. Only visually they've changed. But as far as their uh, stats go, their strength and health, they, they're the same. Now, we're skipping ODST because it's also pretty much identical to Halo 3's. And Halo 3 ODST is essentially just Halo 3 <laughs> for the most part. There's a few differences here and there. So we'll be skipping that and going straight to Halo Reach. Halo Reach does feature Marines and also features Army Troopers, which some people uh, have pointed out my mistakes in the past when I, when I call Troopers uh, Marines. But that doesn't matter actually because um, in the game files, Army Troopers are all just Marines. They're all the same. There's really no difference as far as the game is concerned. It's just visual differences. So if you want to call Army Troopers Marines in Halo Reach, go ahead. It's the same thing as far as the game is concerned. As for their stats, well, just like Halo 3 and Halo 2, they're also the same. Uh, and like I said, it doesn't matter if they're army troopers or marines, because they're all the exact same biped. They're just variants of the same biped, <laughs> just 
put trooper for the variant or put marine for the variant and that's it so halo each is the exact same as well is any halo game gonna be different <laughs> or are we gonna have like a three-way tie here between two three and uh reach well the last game we can compare for this is halo 4. halo 4's marines feature major drastic visual differences um and personally gameplay differences from my perspective but we're not comparing uh, observations here. We're just going to take a look at their stats. Uh, so aside from their aesthetics, let's look at their stats. Health is also 100. Two seconds to recharge with a four second delay, so same as the other games. And also no armor. However, their melee damage, their regular melee damage is 150 points of melee damage. And they also have a, a second kind of me melee called a shield pop melee, which I'm not exactly sure what that does, but that does 500 points of melee. Which is actually equivalent to uh, Tartarus's um, Fist of Rock Hammer, as far as raw damage goes. So, yeah, Halo, <laughs> Halo Force Marines, they are definitely the strongest, <laughs> based solely on their melee, <laughs> because both their melees they basically match the melee damages of the Fist of Rock <laughs> in uh, Halo Two for Tartarus's hammer, aside from the gravity effects, but. Yeah, these Marines, they pack a punch. They're more powerful than even Spartans uh, in the previous Halo games, as far as melee damage goes. Now, why we, why they don't use their melees more often? I have no idea. In fact, I feel like the Marines, like gameplay-wise, are quite nerfed compared to uh, the previous Halo games. But deep down, they have like this power inside of them. <laughs> it's like this superhuman strength. <laughs> so... Yeah, I mean, maybe they've used it in gameplay, but I've never really seen it. But I don't play Halo 4 that much, to be honest. So, maybe they maybe they do use it more often, but I just haven't seen it, personally. But yeah, so, based on the melee itself, I would have to declare Halo 4's Marines to be the strongest of the entire series that we can compare. Um, as far as like the other stats, health and armor, it's really a tie between Halo 1... Yeah, it's a four-way tie between five-way become ODST between all the other Halo games um, because the health and armor in Halo 1 adds up to 100 anyways uh, and Halo 2, 3 and Reach it's all 100 health but the health does recharge as well um, there's a few minor differences between like the armor and the uh, health in Halo 1 and the newer games but there it's minuscule differences um, overall it doesn't really make much of a difference between them um, but the, the differences are like the armor in Halo 1 has like a bleed through effect as in like some damage can go through While in Halo 2 3 and breach the health doesn't actually regenerate to full health um, but it's Overall pretty much the same. They, they both have their downs which evens out but in Halo 4 while the health is the same um, The melee is just crazy high So yeah, there you have it folks Halo 4's Marines are indeed the strongest of the entire series. Like, by a lot, as far as melee goes. Uh, but anyways, if you guys did enjoy this video and found it to be interesting, make sure to leave a like and leave your thoughts in the comments. Uh, just let me know what you want me to compare next as far as um, AI characters or weapons. You know, we, we alternate um, every week, so... Uh, twice a week, I mean. So just uh, let me know what you guys want, to want me to compare next, and I'll definitely uh, do my best to get around to it when I can. But other than that... I will see you next time, and oh, and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. But uh, yeah, bye guys.